In this video, we're going to be comparing and ordering fractions with the same numerators. Here are the different examples that we're going to look at in this video. Here is a fraction rule. Let's look at each unit fraction. 1 16th 1 8th 1 quarter 1 half and 1 whole. So we can clearly see each unit fraction now. So we can see that 1 16th is less than 1 8th and 1 half is greater than 1 8th. This can be a bit confusing as 16 is the greater number. If you think of one pizza that's been split into 16 slices and another pizza that has been split into 8 slices and another pizza that's split into halves. If you're hungry and you want some pizza, which slice would give you the most? So if you're sharing a whole between larger numbers, it results in smaller portions. So when the numerators are the same, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. We can see that 1 half is greater than 1 eighth. We can see that 1 quarter is less than 1 half. And we can see that 1 sixteenth is less than 1 eighth. Now let's look at non-unit fractions. Which fraction will be greater? 5 sevenths or 5 ninths? Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So we have 5 sevenths and 5 ninths. So we can see that 5 sevenths is greater than 5 ninths. Here's another example. Which fraction will be greater? 3 eighths or 3 quarters? Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So we have 3 eighths and 3 quarters. We can see that 3 eighths is less than 3 quarters. Here's one more example. Which fraction will be greater? 4 sevenths or 4 tenths? Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So we have 4 sevenths and 4 tenths. We can see that 4 sevenths is greater than 4 tenths. Let's have a go at doing it without the fraction rule now. Which fraction is greater? 1 quarter or 1 third? Remember, when the numerators are the same, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. So we can see that one quarter is less than one third. Which fraction is greater? One fifth or one eighth? Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. So we can see that 1 fifth is greater than 1 eighth. Which fraction is greater? 3 fifths or 3 sevenths? Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. So we can see that 3 fifths is greater than 3 sevenths. Here's one more example. Which fraction is greater, 3 tenths or 3 quarters? Let's have a look at these fractions side by side. So we can see that 3 tenths is less than 3 quarters. Now we're going to have a go at ordering these fractions. Remember, when the numerators are the same, the larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. Pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answer. Press play when you're done. So the fraction with the biggest denominator is 3 tenths. So 3 tenths is the smallest fraction. The next fraction with the biggest denominator is 3 sevenths. 
so 3 7 is the next smallest fraction. The next fraction, with the biggest denominator, is 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is the next smallest fraction. So we're left with 3 quarters, which is the greatest fraction. So we can now put them in order 